y'all, welcome to Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. So the entire month of March is Women's History Month. Here in Lumberjillville, we are all about women's wrestling. So Women's History Month is very special to me. And to celebrate Women's History Month this year for the entire month of March, I'm going to be dropping reviews throughout of some very special and legendary women in wrestling. So with these figure reviews, I'm going to try something new I've never done before. And throughout the entirety of the review, I'm going to have little fact bubbles that are going to pop up. They might just be some things like the background of the superstar, some fun facts, some info. But either way, I'm really excited to see how y'all like this setup. Hey Mayor Aaron, I programmed some bubbles to pop up for the intro as an example for the viewers. So just keep talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can keep, keep talking. That's a good idea. I like that. But yeah, I'm really excited for these videos this month because not only do I get to review some pretty awesome women's wrestling figures, but I get to share with y'all some facts, some history, some background as to why these women were so amazing and just the huge impact they made, not only in women's wrestling, but women's progression as well. And today's review, Sensational Sherry, I was just blown away. The more I was learning, the more I was reading about her, and I can't wait to share some of the things with y'all. You're gonna love the facts I posted in post-production. Well, hey, truth being told, I did a lot of research to try to make sure all the facts that I include in this video are accurate. So I just hope whatever fact bubbles you're putting up for me are true. Don't worry, they are very accurate. Well, good. Now let's dive into the review. Se segway. WWE Elite Series 65 Collector's Edition Sensational Sherry. This attire is from WrestleMania 6, which took place on April 1st, 1990 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. On this night, the team of Sensational, Queen Sherry, and Randy Savage would lose to the team of Dusty Rhodes and Sapphire. Alright, so my first impressions of this figure, I mean, this figure is a work of art. It is a beautiful depiction of Sensational Sherry. I love it. And I really can't wait to take a closer look at this figure because I really haven't done that. I haven't even taken this robe off. Now, truth being told, I got this figure very early in my women's wrestling figure collection. It was way before the channel. And as soon as I got it, I opened it up right away, discarded the package. So I don't have an MOC one to show you, but I am going to say that this figure looks beautiful. It looks amazing MOC. It's in this pose right here. And what's awesome about it is there's no extra accessories, no extra hands. So what you see is what you get. And I love when that's the case with a figure that is kept MOC. Now, obviously today's review, I am going to take a closer look at this figure, but I just wanted to throw that out there in case you are an MOC collector. This is definitely a figure you should try to pick up. I'm actually going to look here after I film and see if I can find one MOC because yeah, it's a beautiful figure. So that being said, let's take a closer look at the details, starting with the face. All right, so taking a closer look at the face scan, the hair, the head, and all the detail in this area, I am going to be honest here and say that I really don't think the face sculpt in the scan itself resembles Sherry too much. I think it does a good job and it does a fine job, but it's not perfect. And that's just me being a little too critical. I understand that. And I'm going to be honest with you. I understand that it's probably extremely difficult to get a face sculpt and face scan of a superstar who has been passed on. That's probably a lot more difficult to do compared to a superstar that's still living. So what they had to work with here, I think they did a good job. I actually really do like that they chose the face paint look that she wore at this WrestleMania 6 appearance. I think that's a real smart way to get around the lackluster scan and sculpt. But looking at the paint detail itself, I mean, I'm going to try to get a real close look here. It's pretty darn amazing. I mean, the detail there is just, it, it's, it's amazing. It's also amazing too. You can even see her eyelashes are painted on with great detail. She has a little birthmark on her upper lip. Now, another thing I love about this head here is this hair sculpt. It's real messy. It's like a jet black, but that sculpt is really cool. And obviously what really stands out here is this crown or tiara, whatever you want to call it. Now, I was under the impression it wasn't removable and I was completely fine with that. But actually, I was messing around a little bit with it, and it kind of, does it come out? Let's see. It does come out, so that's, that's amazing. I had no idea that came out until a couple minutes ago, so that's really cool because that'll really help her transform into her wrestling attire, which we'll take a closer look at 
here soon. But yeah, so I understand the face scan and face sculpt can't be perfect, but I think they did an excellent job here with what they had to work with. I love the detail of that face paint, and I really like the hair sculpt. So there's a lot to like here. Now let's move on to the attire. So taking a closer look at her attire here, as you can see in front of us, this is the entrance robe that she came packaged with that she wore on her entrance at WrestleMania 6. But what's really cool about this figure is it's a two-in-one figure. So you can have her with her crown, with her robe on, or you could take the crown out, take the robe off, and she's in her wrestling attire that we'll look at next. I've never taken this robe off of my figure per se, but I did see images online. So I'm really excited to see that kind of double feature that we get with this figure. But taking a closer look at this robe, I mean, it's stunning. It's beautiful. It makes me think I need to get another one MOC and another one loose because how do you not display Sherry in this gorgeous, gorgeous robe? It looks awesome. And it's very accurate to that night that she wore this. Now, what I love, 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 love about this robe is the little details that they went through, like the shoulders here. The way that they stitch this together, the shoulders are very puffy, very high, and it's super accurate to that night, and that's a nice little detail that, it, it, it's amazing. I mean, it, it's tremendous that they did that. I can't say enough good about that. The robe itself is a pretty thin, purple silky type material, but it works just fine in this case. We got a little silver pattern on the front. It goes over her shoulders around the back. It's kind of tapered in at the waist there. The inside of the sleeves have the silver pattern, which looks really nice. So yeah, obviously, if you buy this figure, uh, a lot of people are probably going to be like me and just keep it either MOC or open it and keep it displayed with the crown and the robe on. But I'm so intrigued that this is a two-in-one figure. So let's take that crown or tiara, tiara off and let's take the robe off and see the wrestling tire underneath that she actually wore also on this night. So it's really not often that we get a two-in-one figure with this much detail. So this is pretty awesome. Wow. Wow. So, okay. So taking a closer look at Sherry underneath that robe. I mean, yeah, this is very accurate. Look at that. Very accurate to what she wore in her match against Sapphire and Dusty Rhodes. And it looks stunning. So looking here at the top, it is a pretty generic top mold if you look closely at it with the paint kind of going beyond the border of the mold itself to make it look realistic. But it works in this case. It's actually hard to tell unless you look real close. And like I said, more often than not, you're going to display her with the robe. So it's nice to have this just as a backup option. So that purplish pink really stands out. There's little silver studs painted around. There's some black paint in the inside of the chest. Um, unfortunately, we do have that painted over Victoria's Secret body paint uh, belly button that drives me nuts. But here, like I said, I'll give it a pass. This is kind of the secondary look of the figure compared to her entrance robe look. Moving on to the back, I was blown away by this. I didn't expect this. All the intricate paint and detail that they put into this, having the straps, they're not molded, they're just painted, but it works fine. These black straps painted across, even the ties painted. We even have the strap going across with little silver details. That's very nice. Moving on to the lower body here, it's just painted plain black with that purple triangular design on the sides. And then her boots are actually pretty freaking awesome. So SQS Sensational Queen Sherry is what we got there. I didn't know her boots look like this, but they're amazing. The detail here is fantastic. It is beautiful. It is stunning. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, this is Sherry in her wrestling attire from that night, her in-ring gear, if you will. And that's so cool that we get a two-in-one option here for this figure. But like I said, having her displayed with that robe and tiara or crown on is just fantastic. But it's also really cool to know that she has this ring attire underneath. I'm actually thinking I might display her like this from here on out because this is the strong, powerful wrestling Sherry. But either way, let's move on to our articulation and see how this older-ish type elite moves. All right, so since this figure was released all the way back in Elite Series 65, I figured we'd go over articulation to see any differences between now and then because they've really advanced the articulation as far as the women's figures go. So taking a look at the head here, she can turn a right good, turn left. She is on a ball joint. It has decent movement that is a little limited by that hair sculpt. Her shoulder is on a ball joint, can go in all different directions. She has that upper arm swivel here. She has a single jointed elbow, so it can flex about 90 degrees. 
Now her wrist does not extend or flex, it can just swivel. She has that upper torso swivel where she can kind of side bend, but she can really flex and extend really well. She has a waist swivel, her hip is on a ball joint, can go in all different directions. She has that upper thigh swivel. She has a single jointed knee that can flex a little less than 90 degrees. She has that upper boot swivel and her foot can plantar flex down and dorsiflex up but can't rock to the side. So the articulation is fine, but you can see just the advancements they've made as far as the women's elite figures over the year and how they have added articulation. But here it works nice. I do wish that the figure did have more articulate wrists that you could extend. That way when she has her hands out with her robe, you could really give it some character. But yeah, pretty good. And here's one last look at WWE Elite Series 65 Collector's Edition, Sensational Sherry. All right, so this is the part of the review where I usually give an overall score to the figure. And I do plan on giving scores to the other figures that I am reviewing in celebration of Women's History Month. But in the case of Sensational Sherry from Elite Series 65 Collector's Edition, I can't bring myself to give it a score. And the fact is, this is such an important figure. It's so valuable in the history of the women. And the fact that this is the only Mattel release of Sherry so far, it's it's invaluable. It's so important. And I, I just, I couldn't give it a score. Because to me, this figure is just, uh, it's amazing. It, it's a piece that you need in your collection if you're a women's wrestling figure collector, women's wrestling fan. This is such a necessary figure to have i like i said i do plan on finding one moc and hanging it up now we did get uh iterations of queen sherry sherry martell sensational sherry through the jacks line and those were okay figures actually i'd like to review them down the road sometime but as far as mattel goes this is the only sherry figure we have in mattel form and i just think it, it represents a very iconic moment and on top of that sherry had really done so much for the business itself and she's a true pioneer and truly underrated and the more that I did research on her the more I fell in love with the woman that she was and she was tremendous so yeah I, I hope you enjoyed today's video and hope you learned something through the facts through the information that I shared with you throughout today's review but yeah I, I just can't give this figure a score it's just very important and valuable and I think they did the best job that they could with what they had to work with at the time Thanks for stopping by Lumberjillville. Women's Wrestling lives here. For a first look at all new women's wrestling figures coming out, make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident today. I'll be posting a lot of additional videos on top of reviewing the brand new women's figures that come out. I like to do a lot of bonus videos like this one. And like I said, I have some really exciting women's wrestling figures to review of some legendary, iconic women that I will do in celebration of Women's History Month. So also make sure to hit that bell to receive notifications so you don't miss the next video. But with that being said, I hope you have a great night, y'all.